So, hello again. It's 12.45 on 26 of September, which is a Thursday. Sorry, again, tired before I even start the journey. This time I'm my last cup of tea. Just finishing off because I'm going on another trip to the States, and this time it's one of my favourite trips of the year. Every year I go over to the Oklahoma State Sugar Art Show. So this is a fun one. I'm looking forward to this. So I will keep you up to date. I'm not going to do the coach station this time. I'll just talk to you next time we're at Heathrow. Okay? Good morning. Um, it's now quarter to six. So there you go. I think it's, what is it, five hours I've just done. Uh, just a lot of coke, just settle down. Time to cut the coffee, you know. Get the juice going. Coach trip up was fine, it was all on time. I managed to get about two and a half hours sleep, which is great. So I've checked in, come through security. That's about it now, it's about a three hour wait before I get on the plane. Well, I certainly don't want to drink it, but I'm already here in Atlanta. It was a remarkably smooth flight. The uh, plane left on time, it arrived on time, the food was okay. It's a bit noisy on the plane, but then you know that's, that's fine, that's just what it is. Um, I did get any sleep, but then I never seem to sleep on the plane when I'm coming over anyway. If I stay awake, then at least I get a good night's sleep. I'm back at Atlanta Airport this time. No thunderstorms, no lightning strikes. I actually have my luggage, checked it through to the next flight, so I don't want to be too optimistic because goodness knows I don't want to jinx it, but you know what? It's going well so far. So I'll talk to you again when we get to the other end, which is Tulsa. Take care, see you in a bit. Well, that seemed to go remarkably well. I've just arrived at Tulsa Airport. As you can see, it's blisteringly hot here, and it's 5.15 at night, and I can see my minibus coming to pick me up in a minute, so um, I'll be on the transfer to the hotel. I'll let you know how it goes then. Okay, give me a second, I'll get back to you in a minute, because I can see the bus arriving. Hi guys, it's about seven o'clock at night now. I'm I've checked into the hotel, I've just nipped down to the local supermarket to pick up some things I need to pick up. And I'll just share with you, this is what sunset looks like in Tulsa. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, I've got you on the go. Let's see if I can get across this road without getting myself killed. I think it's called jaywalking and it may be illegal, but you know what? Live dangerously, that's what I say. Now, you may actually be hearing a really weird noise in the background because I'm going to lead us up to the Double Tree now, the hotel where I'm staying. But it's cicada season! Yeah, those nice big horrible bugs you find on trees and every so many years they come into season and all you can hear are these flipping things going on. So I'll see if I can find some for you, but this is where I stay anyway. It's It's the Hilton Doubletree here in the middle of Tulsa on Warren Place. And to be honest with you, it's almost like a second home to me now. I stay here so often. But I must admit, I enjoy Tulsa. It's a nice place to be. It's a very humid evening though, but then that goes without saying really, doesn't it? I mean, dear Lord, it is America. It is Oklahoma. So, oh, now they're all going to go quiet on me. So, let's see if I can find one for you. I thought I saw some on the trees up there. So there you go, as you can look up there, that's the double tree right ahead of me. So it's actually, I'm going to do a quick sweep around so you can see. So it's set in its own parklands. Uh, it's very beautiful here, it's very restful, except for when these cicadas are going. Yes! Down little buggers. Let's have a look. I'm sure I saw some earlier on. I'll show you what a cicada looks like. That will give you a nightmare if nothing else does. I haven't heard from my friends yet, but I know they're already checked in, so I've left the messages. So I wouldn't be surprised if at some point I don't hear a screaming of my name, shouting, and then, oops, there they go. So, we'll see. Right, I think I saw some on this tree up here when I was actually coming down, so if they're not on this tree, I don't think I'm going to go hunting very far for them, though because it gets really boring here. Oh, I think I can see some. These some? Yeah, here you go. That's what these things look like. 
and actually these aren't the real ones these are the casings that they've left behind because they've shed their casing how scary and futuristic is that? I can say for one so that I don't think there's going to be a cake inspired by one I'll look over here see if I can see any over here they tend to go very quiet when you get close to them so we'll hunt for one more tree and we'll look at the sunset there you go beautiful sunset they do say the best sunsets are created with polluted air but you know I don't think that's true so see if I can find any more on here well there's some more of the cases where they've actually grown and split and moved on so, well I'm not going to be cicada hunting for the rest of the evening just to keep you people happy so I need to go and get a shower I need to get cleaned up but there you go right I'll give you a look around the hotel at some other point but for at the moment just enjoy this flipping racket well it's Friday the 27th I would say it's an absolutely beautiful day in Oklahoma or Tulsa well Tulsa is Oklahoma isn't it um, it's half past 12 I'm just waiting for the lovely lady herself Kerry she's gonna pick me up I'm gonna go down to the show room so show area and we're gonna set up so I'm just waiting for Kerry which should be fine I've done a bit of running around this morning it's always wonderful here I have such a good time at the show it's I know I don't take holidays very often and this isn't really a holiday but to me it's just one of those shows that's great to come to. There's great cakes, great innovation, and I get to see some of the decorators I don't see any other time of the year. Um, I'll do my best to make sure you see all of the cakes on display, but tomorrow I'm judging. Um, so the whole day is probably going to be spent with a clipboard in my hand and making sure everyone gets good comments, gets constructive comments. So I think that's about it, really. I'll show you a bit this afternoon because, as I said, we're going to go down and do setup, which is interesting to see how the space develops from a blank canvas into the great show that it is. I'll get you some footage later on. Okay, you take care and I'll speak to you in a bit. So, here we are at the showgrounds. I'll do more and more as the time goes by. But this is just an idea for you of what the area looks like before it starts being populated. So I could do a slow spin round for you and see the build happening. Now this is only one view of it obviously, this is the area where all of the cake displays will be, you can see the seating in front of me here and I'll do you another view in a few seconds so you can see what the dam areas look like. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of a walk away from here and I'll come back and show you in a second. So this is ground level now, that's where the entrance will come into. This is the part of the dam area. As you can see, we're expecting a hell of a lot of cakes this year. All of these big round tables represent a complete wedding display. Um, and the table is actually marked as well as the decorations on it. So let's follow this little kid here. So now as part of the two days here, what they do is two live demonstrations that go on all day long. This is Dem Area 1. And this is Dem Area 2. So what they'll do is they'll flip-flop, they'll do an hour on, hour off between them. I believe that's how it works. So I will try and get you some of the visuals of that during the day. But I think it's time I actually did some work, to be honest. I think there's enough table prep to do, so I'm going to get myself working. And I'll give you a bit more of an update later on as it goes on. But to be honest with you, tomorrow is going to be the day when you'll see more things. I'll try and capture everything for you. Okay. Guys, just wanted to show you the symbol outside the showgrounds. Um, it's called the Gold Driller, although I have a habit of calling it the Gold Digger. So here you go. I can't tell you how tall that is, but it's certainly a very helpful landmark when you're trying to tell people where you need to go. Okay. I'll speak to you later. Bye. So I'm not entirely sure walking and videoing is a good thing at the same time because I'm likely to fall over something. But this will give you a bit of a look at some of the cakes here. As I said, what I'll do later on is I'll actually go through 
and photograph a lot of the more film bits of them, just so you can take a bit of a better look at them. Okay. Oh, we're coming up on my friend Dawn. This will be Dawn Parrot, Dawn Parrot Coffin, who's done a wonderful cake, and it's just been photographed, and she's just putting it back in position now. Dawn, give us a wave. Hi, there you go. This is Dawn in a sort of boat cake thing, I don't know. We'll talk about it at some point. So, it's incredibly stressful for the contestants, because if you can imagine, they spent a long time setting these cakes up. What's the very next thing they have to do? Is they actually have to take these same cakes, carry them across a room to a photo studio to be photographed. So, as I said, I won't do all of the cakes, because obviously there's a lot to film in one go, but during the course of the day I'll do little bits of footage. Okay, so enjoy. Now you may or may not know that I actually sponsor a really small part of this Oklahoma State Sugar Art Show. Just to encourage people to work with Royal Icing more, there's a decorated Royal Icing board competition sponsored by my business, so I do what I can when I can. And the challenge this year was for them to create a board that was actually celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Oklahoma State Sugar Art Show. And this is what the contestants come up with. So, here you go, little by little. It's nice to see people using this first star medium again. So, nobody knows this yet. But this is actually who I gave first place to. And if you can remember, this whole thing is made of raw icing. All of the back structure, all of the flowers, all of the details on the actual board and on the cake. So, pretty clever person, loving that. This, I don't know who the winners are, um, the names of the winners yet, but I've got a feeling I know who the winners are, uh, name was for this one. But as you can see, incredibly, incredibly delicate work, which is lovely. Got to admire someone who could do that with a bit of raw icing. And then over to the carousel, or merry-go-round as some of us know in some countries. Again, all made out of run-out panels and pieces. So, there you go. So that's my little bit of the competition. Now I need to dash off and do an interview for someone. And then I'll get back and see if I can't get some more footage done for you guys, okay? It's nice and quiet this morning, so if I can whiz around, that'll be better than me trying to fight the crowds. So that's one of the bigger pieces here. Let's have a look at some of the other entries along with this table, shall we? I'm constantly blown away by the talent I see in other countries and our own. It's just amazing what you can now do with sugar. And I'm not really sure I'm very happy with this one though. I don't think I'd, I'd want to cut into this. And we know how I love modeling, so not me personally, but I love the fact that other people do it. I love a Fabergé egg. Who doesn't love a Fabergé egg? Now coming up is Justin Lynch. Leech, look, I can't say. Justin Lynch's. I can't say his name. Anyway, Justin from Abertillery has made this. He won Best in Show last year. 
and if you ask me, he probably deserves it again this year. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Justin Lynch. There you go. I told you I was having a problem with names, didn't I? And yes, folks, that's all made of sugar. <laughs>